Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Drag Show. I'm Stu Smith. This is my assistant, Stephen Leader. And with us tonight is the one and only Nancy French, one of the stars of Pearls Over Shanghai. She's going to tell us a little bit about the current status of Pearls Over Shanghai and its reopening, an imminent reopening. That's right. Nancy. Hi, Stu. First Hi. of all, thanks for having me on your show. I'm a big fan. Well, thank you. Thanks for being here. I love what you're doing. It's great for our little community. It's fun. Thank you. Um, so January marks the New Year's celebration at Pearls Over Shanghai. Um, a couple of things. First, the good news. So New Year's Eve marks the 40th anniversary of the Coquette's first ever performance at the Palace Theater. As far as anyone can remember, they first took stage on the New Year's Eve between 1969 and 1970. So this will be the 40th anniversary of that. So we're celebrating that with our by having um, a special Afterglow floor show. All performances of Pearls Over Shanghai in January will be followed by a sort of third act. There'll be a like 10 minute intermission and then we're doing five or six other Coquette's numbers from other Coquette's musicals and shows. So Scrumbly, Coldwin, an original Coquette who plays piano for us and does all our music, has pulled these sort of out of his, you know, out of his treasure box. And they're amazing. They're so funny. And so that's sort of an extra thing that people get when they come to see the show in January is celebrating this 40th anniversary. And um, I'm excited because I get to sing, lead, direct, and choreograph one of the numbers. Fantastic. And this one is called um, Everybody's Got a Buddy on the Front. So I, pay, I play sort of an army colonel. I'm calling him Colonel Clam right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm figuring he's um, Clammy Faye's great-great-grandfather in World War One, and he's kind of out there with the troops. And I've got eight other soldiers who are all played by women, and we're all going to be in sort of like World War One ragtag army drag, boy, boy king, drag king, soldier drag. And they're all sort of irritable and they've been out on the front and they're all, you know, sick of each other and they're, you know, horny and don't touch me. <laughs> and then Colonel Clam comes out to kind of tell him like, you know, boys, did I ever tell you about when I was slogging in the bogs at Peloponnesia? And, you know, your best friend is the guy who's down in the trenches with you. Everybody's got a buddy on the front and the wackiness ensues and it ends with sort of a eight person hump line down the row and... The American flag and salutes. It's very patriotic, Stu. You'll I enjoy love it. it. You'll love enjoy it. I'm it. dying to see it. <laughs> You'll you know. enjoy it. Uh, you know, I've been to see uh, Pearls four times, and I've been to see some of the other shock, shock, Shocktoberfest. Shocktoberfest. Uh, and I've seen you, you know, I mean, every performance is similar, but you said, uh, you know, there's other things that happen in a Cockettes performance, including Pearls Over Shanghai. That's my experience, you know. Uh, yeah, it's you guys don't. It's not like scripted to the point where you have to follow it. I've seen incredible, uh, you know, rescues of things and uh, incredible visual. I mean, the, it's the most visual thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and so, tell me more about that—the costuming, the makeup. Well, it's come a long way for sure. We were only supposed to run for about eight weeks. It was supposed to run from like January, uh, June twelfth to August sixteenth, or something like that. We've been extended now. I think we're in our sixth extension. Um, so from, you know, eight weeks to basically eight months. So things organically develop. We're having more fun with it. We're way more comfortable with each other and with the with the material. So it's almost fun when little things happen. Like, you know, there's a telescope at the beginning and the eyeball will pop out of it. And then it's all about who can sneak who the eyeball on stage without anyone knowing. And basically it's a lot about who can crack each other up the most on stage. And it works because that's the energy of the cockettes, I think. And I tell people sometimes it's like sex. It's like you're doing the same thing every time, but it's totally different every time. So it's like sex with 22 other people. I've loved it every time. And I've seen cast changes, you know, as it's gone along. And I bet some of them actually come back and leave again. And It's I, kind of nice how fluid it's become. Petrushka has always been a changing role, and that's kind of fun. We've had Veronica Klaus, Lamborghese, Connie Champagne, Katya Smirnoff Sky, and our own Nahid. So that's fun to see a different Petrushka because we as a cast enjoy watching the different performances. Uh -huh. And that kind of just brings a different energy to it and keeps it fluid. Different Changs, Chang, different yeah. Uh, yeah, Precious Michael Moments Soldier. did it, Michael Soldier, and now it's Valentine. 
And it's fun for us. Oh, and Michael Phyllis is going to be in, and Paul Ziller is in as Chang. We've got a lot of new blood, but it's all part of the San Francisco sort of creative energy. A lot of artists who are doing things and very active in San Francisco, we find them or they just keep coming to the show, and they want in, and they get, you know, we get to try them out. And it's it's been nice. It's been fun for the cast to, to have the different people stepping in. So are you a member of the, uh, the Thrill Peddlers? Oh, I'm a uh... Thrill Peddler long then, time uh, always well the cute story of how i got involved is that um russell blackwood the director and basically he's kind of the director of the whole thrill peddlers company he co-founded that with his best friend from childhood he um he and i used to work together 16 years ago at the san francisco shakespeare festival oh my god he hired me on my birthday in like 1993 <laughs> and we he was the artistic director i was basically assistant to the producer we did free shakespeare in the park and a couple of indoor musicals. So we worked together for about three or four years at the Shakespeare Festival. And we've remained friends, and he and his partner, Jamie, opened up the Hypnodrome and have been continuing all this Thrill Peddler stuff. And I've gone to see everything he's ever done. And then when Pearls Over Shanghai was getting cast, he called me, he's like, you have to come and audition for this because I'm a singer. So he called me and said, you've got to come, and the rest is history. And it's great to be working with him again because he's not just... A, a friend in the sort of theater community. He's just a friend from, uh -huh. you know, basically since I moved to San Francisco. So you're a singer. What uh, what else have you, do you do or have you done in singing and what are you going to do in singing? So I'm a singer and way back when I've, I've done a lot of singing with bands and I do studio recordings. I actually recorded this past weekend with a band called Wicked Mercies in a studio. Um, that's kind of my first love, I guess. And so I sang with bands, like in a lot of straight bars and, you know, with a lot of, but you, as a girl singer, you always need like a guitar player, a bass player, a drummer, and they've got to rehearse and you got to get them all together and you book a show and can everyone make it? No, they can't. They got kids or da, 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 da. So that sort of started kind of dwindling away from me. I loved it, but it started, you know, it just got harder and harder to do. And I was always kind of involved in the drag scene. I've been helping out my brother, Kimo, with the 20 years of Madonna in 20 minutes for about the last, well, since it was 10 years of Madonna in 10 minutes. So <laughs> I've always been involved in that as a backup dancer and sort of all these different characters and always, you know, hanging out around the tranny shack crowd and basically the difference between sort of being a singer in a straight band in a straight club and doing drag performances and burlesque performances at a gay club is you're playing with a lot of your friends uh -huh. as a band and as a singer you're sort of there you are and there's the audience you're separate things and at the end 